hello, hello. Many of you know me. I am Dr. Julius Smith. I'm here to talk today about epiphenomenon. Many of you will know my work in debunking various things around the country from spirit sightings to fortune tellers, mediums, seances, that sort of affair. Now today, I'm to talk about something slightly different. You all know my perception of that sort of chicanery and charlatanism, but today, I'm here in a slightly more serious capacity. There prove to be, however, categories of repetitious phenomenon offering no simple elucidation. I say epiphenomena because these hauntings are not linked with any specific observer. I will refer to three cases. This fishing boat you see here, a white woman from Norway, and finally, the doom train as seen here. The essential characteristics of haunters are simple. The thing or person must have existed, must have disappeared in some sense, then reappeared once or many times. The location of the phenomena may stay the same, or they may change. That which reappears may be substantial or insubstantial, solid or real seeming as you or I. No other conditions are needed. Notice here the Norwegian woman is insubstantial. You can see the steps through her. The doom train, on the other hand, was far more substantial, as my colleagues will testify, and was recently wrecked, having disappeared over 20 years ago. Today, a mangled wreckage of what it formerly was. It is my belief that such hauntings represent clues concerning the natural universe, much larger and much stranger than we can imagine. The walls of what we perceive as normality have subtle flexibility. The spectral hauntings I have discussed represent attempts, perhaps random, perhaps purposeful, certainly unsuccessful, to penetrate our sphere. If we are energetic and not a little lucky in our observations, students of parapsychology may one day be able to move up and down through time, or to travel globally with minor effort, or to perceive that which at present lies completely beyond our senses. What waits beyond remains the supreme question, which, for the present, each must answer for himself.